Gia, you know, I see your byline on a story and I have to talk to you about it in reporting this out. What was most surprising to you? I think what was most surprising to me was the extent to which Britney Spears' experience of early motherhood has somewhat been erased from the narrative of her quote unquote breakdown. It really struck me, and I don't know if it was because I had a child last August, that, you know, in the period of time when Britney was being blasted all over the press as crazy or breaking down or a terrible mother, she was you know, in her mid 20s, she had had two children within basically a year of one another. She got divorced while she was nursing a two month old second child. And she was enduring motherhood, early motherhood, which is devastating under the best cases. She was enduring this while she was so famous that she was making up a quarter of the revenues for photo agencies while paparazzi were taking long range photos from palm trees in her backyard into her house. They were jumping out of cars, chasing her down on foot, documenting her every mistake. And under those circumstances, you know, I can only speak for myself, but I would have a breakdown, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to be clear that part of the reason that you are doing this reporting, part of the reason that you and I are talking about this right now, is that her cultural icon status has brought into focus a, an issue that members of the disability rights community have been trying to get into focus for a very long time, which is this question mm -hmm. of conservatorship and the potential abuses of conservatorship. You heard in the script that I was reading there, you now have U.S. senators who are asking for more information about what is happening. I want to read something from your piece. You write, according to Jonathan Martinez, senior director for law and policy at a center for disability rights at Syracuse University, one of the most dangerous aspects of guardianships is the way that they prevent people from getting their own legal counsel. The rights at stake in guardianship are analogous to the rights at stake in criminal cases, Martini said. Brittany could have been found holding an ax and a severed head saying, I did it, and she still would have had the right to an attorney. So under guardianship, you don't have the same rights as an ax murderer. What are the bigger structural questions that all of this is raising? Mm -hmm. There is a sort of uniquely maddening catch-22 aspect to a conservatorship, as disability rights experts have been talking about for a long time. There is this way in which if you do poorly under a conservatorship, if you struggle against having all control of your personal decisions removed from you, it'll be proof as that you need it. If you do well under conservatorship, as Britney Spears very clearly has, it is also positioned as proof that you need it. And if you somehow get out, if you ever make a mistake in the future, which all of us make mistakes every day as these attorneys brought up, mistakes are what make us human. It's what teaches us how we can grow. A mistake after a conservatorship is deemed proof that you needed it in the first place. Um, and there is, Britney Spears has never had counsel of her choosing for the last 13 years. I mean, just letting that sink in, if, if, a, if a woman as famous and successful as Britney Spears cannot have had the right to hire her own lawyer for the last 13 years while she is at the same time generating millions and millions and millions of dollars for so many people, lots of money for her conservators. It speaks to the extent to which this system is flawed and does need oversight and does need data and does need stronger rights for conservatees, you know, to access their own counsel at the very least. And in this particular case, what happens next year? Well, you know, listening to her testimony, Brittany said, I didn't know that I could file to terminate the conservatorship, which suggests a level of um, of opacity that, you know, is is deeply unjust. But she she or someone close to her can file a petition to terminate the conservatorship. And it is likely that the conservators will contest that and it will, you know, there will be a long sort of, there will be a hearing, it will play out in a complex process in court. However, I, I think that, you know, Britney Spears has not been able to speak on the subject. She has been essentially prohibited from speaking on the conservatorship by the terms of the conservatorship. Her team confirmed to us that she's not allowed to speak about it on social media without permission. And that testimony though, two weeks ago, it was explosive. You know. For her entire life, Britney Spears has been operating under the strictures of what other people think is good for her, which is has tended to be looking beautiful and selling millions of dollars of product. And we heard two weeks ago what she wants, and it's to get out of the conservatorship and to have her boyfriend drive her around in her car and to own her own money. It is not an unreasonable ask, and I think that whatever happens next will be hastened significantly 
though it will be complicated and contentious by how direct and how clear her wishes were in court. 